It's happening all over the city. Thieves targeting critical pieces of equipment that help provide broadband service at 100 pounds a piece. Why would anyone take them? Here's CBS 2 Suzanne LeMigno with an original report. 49th Ward Alderman Joe Moore shows us an AT&T utility box. These are the boxes in my community uh, that, that uh, they uh, have been breaking into. He finds a cut lock on the ground below it. There's a lock here, but there appears to be a lock missing here. So I don't know if uh, this could have been one of the boxes that were broken into. Moore says the AT&T batteries inside these boxes serving as boosters for service enhancement have been targeted by thieves. It's a citywide problem, but uh, my ward hasn't been immune. In just the past month, right here in Rogers Park, there have been at least six AT&T utility boxes that have been broken into and the batteries taken out. We think they're taking those batteries and selling them to scrap dealers. These batteries are worth about $600, and I'm sure they're just getting pennies on a dollar. You would think that any of these recycling facilities may question receiving a battery that's about 100 pounds, right? Y you would hope so, but not all scrap dealers are honest. An AT&T spokesperson told us vandalism of communications infrastructure is a serious matter that affects public safety and the community at large. We are working with law enforcement investigating these incidents. Suzanne LeMigno, CBS2 News.